Good afternoon and a Merry Christmas and welcome to Watsi's Subudio channel. We'd like to introduce the alternative Queen's Speech, broadcast by Martin Bradley in his shed. Friends, fellow flickers, this has been a Subudio and it's horribles for all players all over the world. Little did we know that in March this year we would have been heading out there, final tournaments for men as men. We'll never forget Tom Burns' face and the tears in his eye when he had to tell everyone the Glasgow GP was cancelled. It's been a challenging year. Solo players have thrived in their bedrooms and in their sheds and in their attic spaces. But the community has come together, has built up a new way of celebrating the game we love. We've got YouTube channels, we've got Facebook groups. All these have shown us that giant slides come from the smallest of flicks on the table. There are challenges going forward for us, but our hearts are lifted, lifted by the likes of uh, the new YouTube generation with Nucky and Alan, Game of the Day, and even a certain monthly table football show. But for all of us, at the heart of this story lies the birth of the child, the child that was handed his first Subaru set. Be that in Derry, be that in Glasgow, be it in Wolverhampton, in Wales, or in Australia, or Germany, or possibly even Bethlehem. In time, through teaching through all these new clubs and all these players, we will be back. We'll show that one small, through one small flick at a time, with faith and in hope, one day we will all return back on the green astral pitch. And so, I wish all of you, far and wide, dear and near, a very, very merry flicking Christmas. And now we'd like to head over to watch his Subudio Fantasy Football Show on the YouTube channel, Christmas Special. Christmas, everybody! Merry hey, Christmas, hey, everybody! Hey. It's Christmas Day. How are you, Martin Bradley? Oak, Oak, finally. Well, Santa's busy, so Christmas Eve night, so quite tired. Me and no, the number it, one, me and the number one elf here, are tired. No, the three groups. Santa's a little helper there beside you. Santa's a little helper. Where are you, though? Hello, everybody. Say hello. <laughs> here. Animals and TV don't mix, or YouTube don't mix. Never work with kids or animals. Never I'm work with This and is the kid. This is the kid. <laughs> this is the kid. You're the fucking animal. Hey, uh, I liked your alternative Christmas subudio message before the show there. Yeah. Raveling the Queen's speech. Subudio royalty. I think you'll get more. <laughs> yeah. Santa good to you. No, Santa was his usual good self. Lovely, mate, lovely. Um, just the usual, uh, with a couple of weeks of Subudio to catch up on this week. Um, our sponsor is Subudio Collector. Thank you for coming on the show last week as well. In this busy, busy period. Pucker, <laughs> pucker, he's a pucker. Pucker, pucker, pucker he sponsor, he's a pucker he sponsor. Um, what else? We have one new viewer. Subscriber to the channel. Oh, right, my claims are getting the, the guts of 20 odds, just fell flat in his face. Well, what happened to the uh, so video collector pumping us out all over the socials? He pumped us out, but I think, everybody, I think we've reached our limit. Two, 266 is the amount of people that's out there. I'd rather, have, I'd rather have 266 real loyal followers than 9,000 fucking. Chinese factory workers pumping away in computers. 
Let's not be negative. It's a, it's a mouth of Christmas. It's Christmas. You may as well be, be positive. Share good will. You just give a beautiful Christmas speech before the show. Well, be I, do, I do me bit. Good to see you get dressed up anyway <coughs> after your speech. Uh, quick thank you to Speedo Collector who's sponsoring us and for coming on the show last week. This week we're going to. Nice have, guest, too. We're going to have a lot of special guests popping in, popping in <laughs> on this special Christmas day. Um, we're going to go straight to fantasy football. So here goes fantasy football. <laughs> Basically, <coughs> 13 and 14 all rolled into one week. So, when we were doing last week's show, they were still finishing last the game week 13. So, finally, the top three has changed. Finally, top the uh, Paul Pearson still uh, stays in top, right? So, they say if you lead, if you're top of the table going into Christmas, you win the league. So, going into Boxing Day, the next set of fixtures. Paul Pearson has 250, 852 points. He is uh, Amos Regan, Coffee Art. Okay. I stuck a sticker on my TV, so sorry, dude, I can't, can't show it off. But he did, so, uh, say, he did say he's going to send you one, so don't start. He's a good guy. Coffee Art's a good guy. He's seen you huffing. He sent me a screenshot of your face when I produced it. <laughs> he sent me it. He says, look at his face. <laughs> 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 Look at the face and him, he says. At least somebody cares. At least somebody cares. Thank you very much, Mr. T. Mr. T. Uh, and then Brandon Ashley, we are Groot, is up in the third. Sorry, Coffee Art has 831 points, and Brandon Ashley has 822. Barry, has, for the first time, Barry's dropped out of the top three. He's down to fifth. Barry, man, um, why are you doing this? We'll talk about that when, he, when we have our special guests on. Uh, Brendan Ashley was also a top goals point scorer for game week 14. Um, game week 13 was like the highest points was like 56 points. Everybody had a nightmare in game week 13. So basically, yeah, there's, that's it for fantasy football. Yeah, Lee, you're, you're down to 16th. Same. I, I went up to number 10 there. I um, during week the weekend, I looked. We're just, we're just squeezing all this into one week. Simon Stewart is 17th. He's only four points behind you. And then Craig Stewart has jumped up to 18th. And he's only eight points behind Simon. And he's 12 points behind you. So it's getting closer. So we... 16, 16, 17, and 18 is covered by 12 points. I'm 27th. Shade. And then the wooden spoon race. Oshin is above Jude. And there's 36 points in it. Jude, bro, on game week. Game week 13 scored minus eight points. He's taken the piss. Put him out. Taken. Put him out. He's making a mockery of the whole thing. He's not. He, he's not taking this serious. He wants to win this. He can take it when he wants it, and you know what he can do with. It? Don't you start just kids. Kids watching. It's Christmas. It's Christmas. Christmas. Exactly. It's Christmas. Did you eat all your turkey? Yeah. I was going to say, I can stick it up his arse, but because it's Christmas, I won't. Don't. Don't. So, we don't have Ruby. We don't have Painter's Corner, Sheep Shaggers Corner, which it's been now we know. We don't have What's in Your Box because we've too many guests on. So, there's no What's in Your Box. So, it's a Christmas special without some of the fun. Oh, <laughs> oh, man, it's all, man. It's all, it's all, it's all. It's all, man, okay? It's all cash. It's all cash. Right. Here goes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the YouTube sensation. Graham. <laughs> Graham Thompson. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Thanks. Thanks for having us on. Mr. Flex. This is but. <laughs> two weeks in a row we've had YouTube stars on. I know. Right. Well, I seen you have all these champions on from all over Europe, and I was kind of thinking, why, why, why are they not putting me on? I'm fucking clash, you know. So <laughs> I've, been, I've been saying that. I've been saying that week and week. I have no artistic control, Nuggie. You know that. I, you know. I know. I know. He's uh, 
No, okay, he he was he was delayed when I suggested getting you on. Couldn't believe it. We love Wicked. your we love your work. Oh, nice man, nice. I mean, we're both fucking mugs, but we're getting better. I think, I think we're getting better. You'll have exactly. to tell us on that. Thank, what, thank away, man. Your few years are, and you're, you're, I tell you what, for for only being beginners, you are flying like. You reckon? I think you're flying because it's under the twos. You know uh-huh. what I mean? If you if you had more of these, you would get better quicker. But these are these are doing well, just the two you boys. You know what I mean? Oh right, because um, because when you're in your own head, you kind of see how you how you're playing and stuff. And even when I'm editing the videos and that, I'm kind of like, this is fucking shit, you know. <laughs> but like, it's so bad. But then I put them up anyway, and you know, we'll um, is we hope to one day get better. Once. What's up, mate? Yes, they're getting a good response to them anyway. They are pros. Um, well, we, we're getting a bit of help from yourselves and that, so cheers for that. But we got a bit of help from your last week's guest as well, didn't we? Oh, yeah. Your video, yeah. that's right. Aye, aye he's, um, he dedicated the whole video to us to get us some <laughs> subscribers. So Did that work? Um, well, I mean... We were at 30 before he did the video, um, right. and now we're at 33, so he's had some impact, <laughs> do you know what I mean? We only, I, I got one out of him. We, only, we only got one out of him. Oh, fucking hell. Right. <laughs> so, I used to, I used, I used to, to edit our videos. I used to edit our videos at the start, Graham, and I used to think, fuck me, this is class. <laughs> Jesus, that's brilliant. Fuck, and look, look at the skills on show there. They were shite. They were fucking shite. <laughs> <laughs> Where's your body then, the night? Um, well, he says he's pulling an all-nighter at work, but I don't know if he... He probably is. I, I shouldn't really be questioning him or shit. Like, but <laughs> I just... Like, I buzzed him last night, and I was like, hey, what's his ass just to come on the show? And then I got a text straight back, like, oh, I'm... I'm working all night or something like that. So I was like, oh, okay, never mind. <coughs> Maybe it's Shay. Shay? Uh, may yeah. I? That he Maybe he's, he's just, I don't know, he's not ready for the big time like me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, your, your thoughts on some of the players about the Premier League? About, about the, pre- the Premier as it is now? Yeah. Fucking Are you a Newcastle hell. fan, I take it? Uh, Sunland, unfortunately. You're well, Sunland? I use I. Whoa, uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, sir. It's, no, it's the English Premier League we're talking about. It is. It's the English, um, the, the toilet of Europe Premier League. If you want to be technical about it. <laughs> I um, thought you were, uh, I thought you were a Newcastle fan because I seen your ga- you're saying Gaza photo in the room when you were playing, but it was uh, a Lazio. Oh, the Lazio top. I uh, it was more about about him kind of like I loved Gaza when I was a, a kid, and it was more about loving the Italian football as well. Yeah. So like I was a bit of a Lazio fan because Gaza signed for them, you know. So <coughs> excuse me. Um. So that's all that was, and the black and white top I wear it's like an old Juventus top. Yeah. So, I technically should have like a, a Bill Bow or a Derry City top on for the colours, oh. you know what I mean? So we'll get you, Shirley, man. We'll get you uh, sort of Derry City top. Oh, I met Gaza once. Did you, you met wear Gaza? it? Where did, he play, did he play for Leeds or was it Leicester or something like that? Was it Leeds? I don't Who did he play with? for Leeds, but he when played he was... with a great Gary Lineker was in the same team. Oh, Tottenham. Tottenham, they came over. Uh, they played. They played in the Brandywell against Derry, and I met. I met them all. Gary Lineker, lovely, lovely fella. Gaza, uh, they fucking tell you. I handed him my wee book to get his autograph, and they took it off me. And he looked at it, and he looked at me, and he says, "No," and they gave it back to me. Oh, uh, fuck, fuck off, wank, wanker! I thought. No oh, way, fuck. fuck! I'm not having that. I'm True story. Having- True story. Bullshit. Honest to God. True story. Honest to God, man. True story. Back of the brandy wheel. Outside oh, the training man. rooms. Yes. Tuck it, looked at me. 
Nah. And I thought, I kind of be out of that like, way. <laughs> why it's I kind of what are you having that? Nah, nah. No, I, I, grew, sorry. I grew up grew up like in Gaza. I had fog in the ten. It was my first ever LP when I was I think I was about ten. He had the he mind, brought it. Mind I'm crying, mind I'm crying, I get kicked out of the World Cup. <laughs> why well, you, you know what I yes. That's fucking I thought you know I thought I I seen him crying getting fucked out of the World Cup and I thought that's what you get you here. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I, you can't believe, I, I can't believe that, but you know though, it's um, it's mad because you know the the little intro video we made with Frank Wright died when he flims on Rudy Voller. Yeah, That's brilliant. Well, it was if you watch the match, if you go through the match, it was a foul he did on Voller, but Voller overdone it as the Germans did back then. He'd done like three, four somersaults. And that meant Frank Reichard couldn't play in the next game neither because he got that yellow. But he yeah. didn't cry. He didn't cry. He just looked. The ref wasn't looking. And and he'd done it like a man. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? he done it like a man. Gaza gets a fucking, you know, playing in the next game and he cries his eyes out. <laughs> um, whatever. But, yeah, I've seen your video. What's you about the Fog on the Tyne album? And... Uh, I remember having it on a cassette, but I don't know what happened to it. Like, I, I, I knew every word. I probably still do know every word of that song. Boom. How are then? Fog of the Titans, oh man, oh man. Fog of the Titans, oh man. Fog of the Titans, oh man, oh man. Fog of the Titans, 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 oh man. Fog of the
best. You two are the best of video players out there. <laughs> oh, game over. To watch. <laughs> Hey, I must. I need to wrap it up because we have a load of guests all coming on. So, thank you for coming on, mate. Oh, mate, uh, cheers for having us and cheers for giving us the plugs and stuff. And uh, well, I'll get back to me iron brew. Um, <laughs> cheers. Hard, hardcore stuff and enjoy your drink. Enjoy your night. I hope <coughs> your video goes all right, mate. Yes, you'll see it. You'll see it. In, you'll see it in Christmas Day like today. <laughs> you know, and class. <laughs> All right. Lucky, lucky. Merry Christmas, man. Yes, you too, man. I hope you and your families have a good one. And um, we'll have to have a cup of stream like at some point after the new year. Yes, we'll, we'll, get, get, you get, you on. we'll get you on after the new year. You know. Full show one week. Oh, that'll be mint, and we'll have a proper big crack. All right. All right. Even, even right, if you want to get as well, hundred percent. Ah, all right, lads. Right, nice. Right, lucky. Take care. Cheers. Have a good one. You Thanks, too, man. man. Cheers, 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 man. Bye, bye. Oh, Welcome yeah. everybody, Tom and Simon. Merry Christmas. Cheers, guys. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. How do you say it in German? Uh, Merry Christmas. There you go. Thank you. Merry. How do you say it in Scottish? Merry Christmas. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, you cunt. <laughs> How are you all doing? All good? Ah, uh, not bad, mate. Just bored of our skulls. Is there bored? No. Oh, I've only played in nine months. I know. No club, nothing to do. Need to go to work, but that's it. The beauty of his life. Eh? The beauty of his life. That's a big part of it. That's just. <laughs> It's not so much that, I just lost all our freedom, really. You know, it's just... It's a bit what depressing after a while. You, you moved house? You house? Recently, didn't you, Tom? No, I'm in, the, I was in the, I'm in the process of moving house, Simon. All right. The only thing is... is busy? Sorry? That keep, not, that keep you busy? Well, <laughs> we've had a wee bit of a hiccup. We're, we're buyer's buyer has dropped out, so we're kind of back in limbo at the moment. Oh, and that was just a week ago. So nobody's doing anything this week or next week. So it'll be after New Year now, but the risk is we lose the one that we bought. So we'll just need to wait and see. Disaster. Hopefully it'll, hopefully it'll sort itself out. You need the one that'll Tom. They, they just read a check then. <laughs> Tom, the, the house you were buying, you already had all set up for Sabino room and all, didn't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what? I would like to have had. I oh, don't worry, I'm working on it. That's the only Why reason to buy a house. Yeah. Video? Well, unfortunately, I've still got a daughter that lives with us. If I can get rid of her, then I guess I will have a table up. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, feeling that I'll get a shed. <laughs> get a big shed, man. Sheds I've, 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 I've heard that works quite well. <laughs> mm. Bradley, look at Bradley. Big shed. Big fancy swanky shed. Yeah, I know. I'll get something sorted. But... I've actually just dumped two boards. I had nowhere to put them if I moved them. So just dumped two of them. Was there pitches on them? Uh, I dumped one with a pitch because there was a wee tear in it and a bit of a bubble here and there. But I kept one of them. So that's, you, can always, you can always pick up a pitch. It's easy enough to make a board. What pitches do you use, Basco and Tom? Uh, at the club, we use Extreme Works. Swanky. Swaggy cracker pitches, yep. use the brilliant pitches with the table, yeah. the legs and all. Use the brilliant pitches with the table. Well, it's the, the, same, it's the same, ones we used, same ones we used at the GP. No, they were brilliant. Yeah. So, we've got 16 no, of those. No expense spared with the Glasgow boys. <laughs> yeah, the cost, is, the cost is a bit of money, but it was worth it. Definitely worth it. So. Damon, what are you drinking there? Sorry? What are you drinking? Vodka. What? <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> You've taken this to the next level here. Hi, <laughs> oh, well I've done. Uh, I had a neighbour around earlier. He, I, we took delivery of his TV the day, so uh, he came up to pick up his TV. So uh, I shared a whiskey with him and his girlfriend. Uh, and I've had a few beers. Did you not have one each? Sorry. Did you not have one each? What whiskey? Yeah. 
Yeah, we all, I, we all have, we all, we all have a list of Hey, hey, what, one glass. It's sort of like a cultural talk. exchange, you know. They, they came round to take their TV, so I give them some Irish whiskey and. Uh, see well, just when you said you shared the whiskey, I that's a bit miserable. No. <laughs> <laughs> he's, an, he's, an Aberdeen, he's an Aberdeen fan, Tom. What do you expect? Ah, uh, no, but he's not an Aberdeenian. That's a different thing entirely. Don't right. <laughs> start slagging the Scottish. Hey, friendly. For fuck's sake. <laughs> He's only yeah, after a... insulting their last guest about Gaza. A big Gaza fan, Bradley fucking calls him everything. Who was that? Our, our, our first guest there was a guy from Newcastle, Nucky. Graham, Graham Thompson, he does a YouTube channel. And All he's right. a big Gaza fan. Not a Newcastle fan, but Bradley starts slagging off fucking Gaza. Wouldn't say an autograph. Talk about it. He's not even from Newcastle. Who? Nucky. No, he's not a Newcastle fan. He's a Sunderland fan. He doesn't even oh. come from Newcastle. He's a Macam man, isn't he? He's a Macam. That's a bad one to get mixed up. They don't like that. Nah. <laughs> what about you boys, Aberdeen? Uh, What's, do? What's the story? <laughs> uh, that will be good. I oh, well, we'll probably take third, but I don't know. I, 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 I'm I'm feeling optimistic. Celtic look really, really shite at the minute, so uh, I'm, I'm at second place. Yeah, I know, but we've played them. Play. We've played them twice and still not managed to beat them. Oh, well, you even, even, even Ross, even Ross County managed that. I oh, well, I've really He's put him up against us, but just roll over and get your bellies tickled when it comes to Rangers. Yeah, uh, the, the Rangers fans say the same. Well, Aye. unfortunately, when we played Rangers a second time with no midfield, Aye, with five players out and with the two best players out in Fergus and McCrory. Yeah. So we were, we were always on a height to nothing that day. Aye, no. So yeah. the first game of the season, you can excuse them. And after that, they'd not a bad run until they played, I think, was it, was it Motherwell they played? When they played okay but lost 3 0. Then they Aye. went to Hamilton, played them off the park, and never won the game. Went to Dundee United. Had somewhat 18 shots at goal, never won the game. So, and then they've kind of been off the boil a wee bit maybe for the last month. So, oh, but they're still there. There's a point, more a point behind Hibs with the game in half. No, a point ahead, ahead of Hibs with the game. Aye, I, I don't, I don't think Hibs are much of an issue, but I don't think we've got a goal difference or the firepower really to stay with Celtic. No, yeah. it'd be nice if we did, but. Uh, they're selling that one song. Eh? big there. Aye, uh, but that was last year. Last oh, year's wow. Scottish Cup. Aye, <laughs> uh, the one last year's Scottish Cup on Sunday. <laughs> they haven't won anything this year. That's, that's, forget about that. I don't understand that. Nah, like, don't last year's final was cancelled in May. Alright, I get it. You get it now? <laughs> don't worry about it. Take, take him out of Derry and he doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here, we're just trying to keep us nice and work because of a load of guests to get on. So I'd like to uh, thank you and wish you all a Merry Christmas and appreciate your time in this year. Yeah, same to you guys. And with any luck, who knows, we maybe still get the Inter club on at some point this year. It's just at the yeah. moment, there's, there's, at the moment, there's no way of knowing and no way of planning. But because of the size of the event, hopefully a couple of months' notice would be enough for everybody. So there's a uh, possibility that we might be able to get on second half of the year at some point. I don't think any of us will be going anywhere else. We're certainly not be doing any European stuff, I don't think. But it'd be nice to get it nice to get in a club on maybe at some point. Would be. Hopefully we can get Simon back in his dairy top and maybe he could come over for the Inter Club. I I could I could I could sign on a on a loan. But we've got we've got we're aiming for like three tournaments this year in Germany. Three team events. The Berlin Berlin one at the end of next year. Hopefully that will be on, and there's a couple. Uh, of that's them. usually what around about October, November, Simon. End of November is uh, Berlin. Uh, so hopefully I'll get to that on the individual and the team event, uh, and there's a couple of German team events that we're hoping to enter. So we'll see what what, what happens, but at yeah. least Berlin's the aim, like at least. Uh, as I say, we've got, we've got no plans, and at the moment you can't make any. There's no no there's no calendar for a start. There's nobody knows nobody can risk putting anything on. Oh, you, just don't know what, you don't know what to do, and a lot of guys are not going to travel. A lot of people have been hit financially as well, probably. Okay, yeah. there's, a, there's a few probably that won't affect, but a lot of guys will. 
booking flights and booking hotels to be told a week before, oh, we're going back into another lockdown. No, you couldn't. Yeah. Yeah. You just couldn't do it. You know, it's you can't even take those no. kind of chances, and we don't at the moment. We just don't know what's happening from day to day. Enjoy your time. Merry Christmas. Right, used to. Hey right, Simon. Right, right. See you later. Hey right, guys. Christmas boys. Yeah, right, used to. The, yeah. Enjoy the rest of the day. Right, good night. Hey, welcome everyone for Craig and Barry Spence. Hi, the Belfast boys. I'm christening you the Belfast boys. The Belfast Bel barbarians. The Belfast who? The Belfast. That'll do. That'll do. Barbarians. I. I were Craig. Were you in the barbarians? I wasn't. No, I wasn't. No, I was a sort of latecomer. Um, but obviously I was invited down to Bangor, and I think he's just finished. You, you, you went through a wee lull at that stage, and then uh, Kenny had just started running competitions out of the wee church in Bangor. Right. Okay. Unless there were like official club competitions or whatever, but no, that they were definitely uh, disbanded by then for a few, for a few years, you know. All good, all good. But um, how are you getting on with uh, Christmas? Christmas Day being good days, has it? <laughs> it's always good. I, I mean, it's it's either you're too knackered. By the end of the day, you're so knackered with everything, you know. My but my my kids are older now. They don't really the the okay. sort of yeah the enthusiasm isn't quite there anymore. You know, you're trying to sort of rack up the enthusiasm and get them excited. It's not happening. Not happening. Yeah, Barry. my one's my big one's twenty one, Barry. Half seven on Christmas morning. Boom, boom, mommy, mommy, mommy. <laughs> that doesn't happen at our house. Uh, we got a fourteen and twelve, and they couldn't be more laid back. I'm telling you. Well, my two kids are the perfect age. So Here. Jack, Jack's eight and Grace is four. So they're they're, they're the perfect age for it now, you know. So uh, it's been great. Like it's been a great day. Did they get a video, Craig, from Santa? Thanks. I bought actually. I bought a wee. Uh, I sent you the link the other night on the WhatsApp or not the WhatsApp, the uh, Messenger chat. Um, there's a guy on eBay selling a load of snipers and the Astro bases for good money, like 30, 40 quid. So yeah. you know, you, you know me, Barry. Uh, I, I can't resist, so I had to. I had to buy a wee set there. So uh, thankfully, it came in time. You know, we so started. Yeah. We started forward to the wee boy. It was a Brazil, and he, he done the. He, uh, Obviously not like your level of painting, Lawrence, but the painting was really, really cool. Like, but he just done a very simple, but a very like yellow top it was like a seventies yellow top, no designs on them. Um, but they were, you know, the finish on them was was quality, and they were on the on the wee sniper basis. So that was my that was my treat, you know. One of one of our previous guests says, if you're a really good painter, it compensates you being having a personality. So. <laughs> <laughs> You must be a brilliant I painter, Lawrence. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> me, me and you shade the painting, Barry. <laughs> we don't need the painting. Never <laughs> painted my life, you know. Well, Barry, I must take it. Barry, we have to congratulate you on winning, I think, what has been the best prize so far the, the sexy Brian's sexy Subiru bad boy box have you been uh, in touch and ordered it yet no I haven't um it was Lawrence had told me because I, ha I had to catch up today on a couple of episodes I'd missed him and then um sort of I, I watched the Lawrence had told me the other night and I was like bloody hell did I win some and then um and then I caught up on some of them last night and I was in the living room like this you know, <laughs> go on, get in, get in, get in. I, I never, I never went in of them. you, never went in of them. Uh, bad boy boxes from Brian then. Yeah. He won a, he won a train wall, didn't you? You already got your train wall? Yeah, I, the weird thing, I messaged you the day that um, about three or four weeks ago, um, uh, I'd ordered the... <laughs> The training wall and the yeah, so I've got two sets so I need to maybe I'll send you one back or tell me who to send it off to and I'll do that. You, so, nah, you put you put one at each end of the pitch, Barry, and you go up and down, <laughs> you go up and down, shoot, shooting under the My friend sent the the league Natalie. It's a I've known her for years, and um, you you done her by two points, and she would she would have won the box, and she'd obviously give it to me. <laughs> 
So we'll pick uh, that. That's more reason for me to win it, Craig. Okay. Happy days. She puts me the wee train on wall, which is a good thing, you know. And you get to Barry, choose your own what, design, Barry. What are you going to go for? Uh, I, I, I'm guessing Rangers. No, 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 no. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do a club team at all because it isolates. Sort of like I'm a big Liverpool supporter. We bit Rangers, but not 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 too much. But it would be Northern Ireland probably. I'd probably use a Northern Ireland badge, badge and stuff like that. You know. So. Nice. Two nice. Rangers, one in a row. <laughs> oh, hold on. I thought we had a guest there coming on. Rangers, one in a row. <laughs> yeah. Not yet. Would you not? Would you not go just pure local, Barry? What, what do you mean for um Treffenville? <laughs> <laughs> no, I would, I would, no, I would just I would probably just do it Northern Ireland, I think. Ah. I would, uh, use it have a Northern Ireland badge and stuff like that, I so. I think I'll that'll turn out nice. I think right. it'll turn out nice. What local team do you support? Uh I don't, I don't really. I probably uh my dad support, always supported Linfield because he lived in Eber Street, just beside Windsor Park. So, um, and he played for the Swifts and all that sort of stuff. So, um, I would probably follow Linfield more than anything else, but not. And he played for Corian and stuff like that as well. So, um, so we'd go. probably probably follow Linfield and then Corian or something like that, you know. So, but nothing yes. nothing major locally, to be honest. Corian, no. we're learning Corian not like a green and red. I don't know. Corian. Korean, uh, blue and white, isn't it? Uh, blue and white. Blue and white stripes. So uh, yeah, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't. I was only, only, only sort of realised last night. So it was like, my goodness. And then I was sitting, sitting in bed, thinking, what am I going to do? How, how depressing is that? I'm thinking of bad boy boxers in bed. <laughs> <laughs> we, we sexy Brian, we sexy Brian's going to your head. But hopefully not too much. We want sexy Brian's on there, and he's dancing, and, he, and he's, he's making boxes, and he's, he's flicking it, he's flicking at you. <laughs> it's understandable that way. It's understandable that one. Hey, you dream, moved man. up. You moved up the 18th in the league, mate. You're out of the wooden spoon race. I know, mate. I'll tell you what. At one stage, at one stage over the last couple of days, it was 12th. Uh, I was, see, this is a, this is a combined. I was game. 10 on Saturday. Tell you because a lot of my teams played on the first night and I was up the twelfth and nearly shit myself. I was like, what's going on here? <laughs> um and then I'm also in a wee like a like a wee random league where we play head to head. And I beat uh I beat top of the table. Um that was I was playing the guy that was top of the table and I beat him out by one point. So uh it's fucking here, I tell you what, it's very effective. Like good, good. And Barry, you're down to fifth. I know. I had a really rubbish first, weekend. I've, I've been first time you've dropped out of the top three and since the season started. You know what? Know what it is. I was relying too much on Kane and Son, and when they got beat two 0 by Leicester, didn't they? So um, and didn't get any. They only got points for um, uh, for appearance. Absolutely. Uh, I, so I made a few changes um, the other day just to the back line and stuff, and brought in Matt Lynch <coughs> from Liverpool. And uh, someone else can't remember who else. Oh, I am Zuma for Chelsea from Chelsea. So I brought those in, and uh, I. So we'll see what happens. I'm hoping it was just a blip, you know. So I was actually I was taking the kids swimming on Saturday morning, and I uh, I was checking my phone on the way into the swimmers, and I realised Salah wasn't playing. Right? Do you know why he came on? He came on like in the 60th minute. Hi. Scored two. But he was initially he wasn't playing, and I just looked at it in disgust, and I like took it out. The, I took it out on the kids. I was like, "Come on, hurry up, just get in here." <laughs> <laughs> the kids. It puts you in a bad mood, like. I know. You know what I mean? So, uh, boys, I'm gonna have to wrap it up because we've only we've only really ten minutes for everybody. So I really appreciate just coming on and. Yeah, hold on a second. You give the other boys twenty minutes. How's that work? You know what I mean? Is it, <laughs> is it, is it, it must be me and you, Craig. One thing that I've noticed here out of the lot of you is I know it's one word. Not G Barry. He says about wearing Christmas jumpers. He says about wearing Christmas jumpers, and uh, and I seem to be the only one wearing my festive Superman jumper here. But sure, we can't see it. You can be looking at your big beard. Can you not see that? I we can see it. I thought they were your pajamas. No, that's my that's my Christmas Superman jumper. Away from your face. I was going to get. 
I was trying to, I was trying to dig, I've got a Rangers Christmas jumper and I was trying to dig it out and I was I spent about a half an hour searching through my wardrobe from from a Rangers Christmas jumper. Uh, he buried it out the back a few years ago. That's he dug it up. That's what he did. Burned it when the day eight years ago. <laughs> Here, I'll tell you. See, see the last time he's won the league, I met my wife. So there's a voodoo for this year. There you go. There you go. Great right, lads. Right. Okay. Listen. Have, have a great day. Enjoy the rest of your Christmas. And uh, lads. Yeah, we'll we'll definitely meet up soon. All right. Uh, Don't eat or drink happy. too much, boys. Remember. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> we can all know the guest interview here. <laughs> Merry Christmas, boys. Speak to you soon. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, boys. Good to see you. Get this year behind us, all right? Enjoy Merry. the rest of the day with a fam. See you later. Cheerio, lads. Welcome to the show again, Rudy and Mark Farrell. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Merry Christmas. Good evening. Good evening. Merry Christmas to you all. <laughs> Salute as, as usual. As usual. Oh, 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 let me glass over. I'll let me glass across <laughs> the kitchen. That, that is my, this is no wine. This is my Irish translator, yeah? Perfect. <laughs> Every, everybody needs one. Mark, I'm not <laughs> I just finished a, a stout. <laughs> let me, mine's over in the kitchen. Oh, come on. Where's the kid when I need her? <laughs> Go get one, Kirk. Go get one. We'll let you out. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, put a, we'll put a photo up of St. Pat's. Go, run quick. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. yeah, not too bad, guys. Not too bad. Get, get, get him, getting ready for this Christmas is going to be a strange one, I'm afraid, for yeah. all of us. I was it's, uh, all set. Yeah. It's, it hasn't been too long since we last spoke to you. No, it was, it was what, a couple of weeks ago, if that. Maybe very less. popular guest, really. You're, you've yeah, been a very guess. popular Oh, guest. that's I'm, nice. I'm feeling the vibe of a star now. You know, last week I was guest in Italian program, similar to yours. What? Uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and <laughs> no. it, was fun, it was fun because they pretended me to be uh, a sort of uh, uh, related to Peter Adolf. And uh, they said, basically, I, sh I should have played the part of this guy that during his dreams... He dreams about Peter Adolf, and Peter Adolf give him, you know, some messages to give to the Subutio players or whatever. So it was rather funny, to be honest. But at the same time, you know, it's a bit awkward. Mm. He say, you know, <laughs> with all with all my respect to the mighty Sir Peter Adolf. <laughs> so I'm, yeah, I'm feeling like, like a star. <laughs> yeah, like the ghost of Subutio future, really. Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, could we, could we could we ask you to pretend you're somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think I could do much more than that, either myself or, you know, somebody which doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> Mark Farrell, how are you doing down there? I don't know if you're down above me in this, but how are you doing? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all good, my man. More, uh... Head wax for Christmas. Did you get a what, sorry? Did you get the head wax for Christmas? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm losing you. I'm going to a tunnel. Hold on. <laughs> it's look. It's gonna grow back. All right. It's, it's gonna grow back. I, I, you know, I don't hear it. All right. You just shaved a bit too deep. What's come to worse, you do like Conte. You get a nice, week, you know. <laughs> Go to Turkey. Yeah. Ten, I mean, tournament. Get the hair transplant on. <laughs> Oh, if me and Watsy take off these hats, it looks like... Look, hey, looks like showing the, off the, now. You're showing the, off, Martin. There's, ha there's hair. Yeah, there's there's showing off. Yeah, yeah. Me, me yeah, and me we, still have the we, lock. We, 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 still got the, it, <laughs> we still got it. Look, these two on the side here. Oh, sugar. Yeah. Ronaldo just got... Oh, no, it's offside. <laughs> the, oh, yes. they're, clo they're closing the hairdressers. They're closing the hairdressers every bloody three weeks down here, so you have to get a window to get your hair cut, and then they're closed <laughs> again. You know, you must that's the way it's going with the person. bloody lockdown. You know, you I, I could do that. Mark. Haircut. <laughs> you can get a haircut. Yeah. You can't get a haircut. Well, I don't get. I was. Get a haircut. Yeah, yeah I was going to get the, the cornrows in this year. Oh, butter. No, it's brutal. You got to. Everyone gets two weeks to get a haircut, and then your everything's closed again. You know. Yeah, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy stuff. Did any did any of you get Sabudio for Christmas? Did Santa bring you any Sabudio? 
Who's that? Santa. Oh, Santa Claus is a big, big I've fat been, man in a red I've suit. Been really. ba- I've been a bad boy, guys. I've been a really bad boy. So <laughs> I don't deserve anything. I get in charcoal, which is good enough to cook mistakes on. But that's about it. <laughs> I've been absolutely bad. <laughs> I wouldn't I turn love down it. a bag of coal for the teddy, it's freezing. <laughs> yeah. Used to be good back in the days. So. Yeah. No, I did. Now, I, I'm at that stage now where I, I suddenly find it's, uh, you know, um, um, socks and deodorant are now becoming my staple presents. You know what I mean? Unless it's something the wife buys me. I used to think I'd never get, get to that stage. You know what I mean? I thought, nah, nah that's, not, that's, that's for old people get those kind of things. You know what I mean? I'm at that stage now, sadly. Nobody wants to break it to you, Mark. Nobody wants to break it to you. But you, you're up there. We're getting old. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bloody hell. <laughs> All our guests, Mark, you're the you're the senior pro. Definitely. <laughs> you are, you are Ireland. I don't know. Pro, yeah. right? Senior pro. Have you, moved, have, you moved, have you moved under the veteran we're, guy? We're all getting older now. Yeah. <laughs> Me a veteran, I've always been veteran. I was going to say, yeah. I was going to say, yeah, we'll be veterans now, but by the time we go back now, we'll be veterans, all right. We'll have moved up a class, huh? <laughs> Probably be granddad by the time we go back to play. Never mind. Oh. <laughs> It'll be a, don't, joke, don't, don't joke, really. It'll be a good year, won't it, before you play again? All right, as no, as no say. As Thank no you, The <laughs> thing is, is, when I joined the veterans, I joined the veterans because I thought it was a much more relaxing category to play in. It's bloody worse than the Opens, honest to God. <laughs> uh, Everybody. Yeah, that's yeah I think so. That's but isn't that a sign? <laughs> yeah, it is. Isn't that a sign, though, Rudy? Uh, because you see that now, you go along to the bigger tournaments, your Glasgow and your, you know, your Mons and all that, and the veteran classes are bigger than the open classes now, and it's probably a, it's a depressing sign in some ways because it shows you there's not the kind of younger players, you know, coming up. We're all just moving yeah, up right. into an older level. Yeah, that's, um, that's, I suppose, that's what I was going to say. I don't know how you fix that. You've more, you've too, too many people that played in the eighties and seventies coming through. Yeah, yeah. either veterans. Yeah. you're not, you're not. Getting the young boys coming yeah. through. That's it. So that's it. Well, the, thing that's about it. Them, the thing about the, them veterans, them the, veterans the, have been playing non-stop since. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. 80s, yeah, 90s, yeah. You know, Lots so you're them, talking yeah. 20, 30 years of experience flicking up and down the pitch. Yeah. Well, Easily, well, some maybe, people see. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. They should, maybe they should re re uh, brand it as Superior and then under forties. <laughs> <laughs> well, ideally, yeah, you're right on that. So you're. I always think veterans, though. There's no take the veterans. Take away the, take away the veterans. It should be over. I, I remember, I remember five, six years ago, maybe less. Or something, but, because you know, it's not that dynamic isn't going to change. Nah, you know, that, say I, that as again. Say that again, five, Mark. Yeah, five, five years ago. Uh, no, five years ago, I went to uh, one of the last tournament up in Leicester. I think it was. Uh, organized by Jeremy, and uh, oh, yeah. there was not there was only like seven opens, uh, like 30, 38, something like that, veterans. So I said, I tell you what, guys, you know, I leave the veterans and go and play in the opens, you know, just to make even yeah. number. Oh, yeah. And it was only eight of yeah. us, and I end up winning that. <laughs> I end up winning the <laughs> open. <laughs> like cra- I don't, even, I don't even know how did I manage to win that. I had in the semi final. Uh, what's his name, Russell? And in the final, I met Paulo Goveia, which is a very good oh, yeah. Portuguese player. <laughs> so, you see, you know, for once I go in the, in the opens, I win, and for when I go in the veterans, I never pass the group stages. So, you know, he has his phones, you know, his pros. <laughs> that just shows you that the, the, vet, the veterans is a higher class, it, is. It, should be re, it should be reclassed as, yeah. a, as the video players, and then like anybody on their. Forty should be classed as beginner, not beginners, but new newcomers mm. under under forties or something, you know. So the yeah. veteran be the 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 higher class. Well, that's a way to say that we are fifty, but we're still looking pretty young, isn't it? No, you begin. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it's not like you're creeping around the table and struggling to flick, and you know, 
moving yeah. your Zimmer frame and setting down your crutch. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you're still you're still mobile. So and you've too much experience. Fixing the wig. Fixing the wig. Yeah. Straightening the straightening the glass eye. <laughs> Clipping the head back into place. Brilliant. You got the pitches with pitches with safety rails around them and everything, you know, made, made of rubber. <laughs> kind of bumpers. Uh, <laughs> you got get a, get a no, the veterans should be, it should be like, should be like over 60. Veterans should be over 60 because if veterans were started as a niche group, but if you look back to about 20 years, the veterans will start to be that small 10% of players at a yeah. tournament to give it a fair competition, you know? That's what the veterans came out of. So they were seen as maybe weaker players. But it's kind yeah. of gone full circle now, and it's probably the most of the most experienced players. You know, even though the open players on their day are probably, uh, of course, probably still better. You know, man for man, but there's a better standard in the veterans if you spread it overall, probably. And I think it's gone on its head a bit. So I, you know, yeah, there's not enough players coming up behind them, fortunately. And and, and the open, as Rudy say, it'll be, you know, people in the open in another five years and, and thirty in the veterans. You know. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, like the last time when the World Cup, the last time the World Cup was on was in Gibraltar. I was watching one of the matches, and it was Eric Nazali. Eric, mm -hmm. and I can't mind who he was playing, but one of the guys refing as well was a. Uh, they, they would have been the veterans, but it was like a fucking master class in Subaru. Them two boys mm -hmm. playing, and mm -hmm. I'm refing. His refing was amazing, and them two boys playing just. The camaraderie, mm. the, the gentlemanness of it, and the, the, the pure skill on the table, it was oh, unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. They yeah. Were, really yeah, 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 yeah. And that level of skill, I mean, Jesus, they, they walk into that and try and compete. You, you need to be up there, if you know what I mean. You see that, Matt? Really yeah. Monday at that point. Yeah, we go back to what we were saying last time I came online with you, Slot. It's all down to practice. You know, these people around Europe, they do practice like twice, three times a week, maybe. Well, they used to. I don't know now. But they all practice within the best way. So it's easy for them you know I mean? to, yeah. to get better. It's all there. Yeah. So it's, it is. It is. Yeah. We've lost Mark. <laughs> Boys, I'm Pardon me. Sorry. When you're, about, when you're talking about them opens, you know, you have the Italians coming over. And when you look at them, when you look at Italy and you've all them clubs and they have youth teams and they have team teams and then they and they really pump it in and they've all the tracks yeah. and all the gear and they're playing constantly at a really high level. When you pull them boys in an open category, hey, they're younger and but they're playing so much and they're playing against such competition that their skills are fucking well up there. Yeah, Which kind yeah. of skews it then when yeah. you're looking at the veterans. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you must be veteran now, Mark. Jeez, uh, uh, I don't know what the veterans is. Am I 44? So I don't know what the veterans are. Is it 45? I don't know. Hey, you've been playing looks. veterans, Mark, haven't you? You've been playing I haven't played. Them. No, I never went yeah. in. I, I guess... Uh, so I, 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 isn't it? They changed it a couple of years ago. They made it a bit older, didn't they? Yeah. And they were going <laughs> to... rolling on by a couple of years. They're so I, I probably... 45, yeah. Yeah, so it might be yeah. So it might, I'll, I'll be in next next year. I get or yeah, next year I'll qualify. So I'll bloody hell. What did you say? It's kind of it's one of those where I like Rudy said. I like I like playing the open especially. You know what I mean? Just because the type of players we have in the UK and Ireland, the open is always uh, you know a, a great buzz. You know, but it's yeah. nearly the type of players you have at a tournament that'll that'll probably decide whether you go veteran or open if you're playing in the U, you know UK or Ireland. It's a kind of, I suppose, the game the way it is. You can play it till you're, you know, you can easily play it in 50s. You know, it's, you can see that the, the physical side of it isn't as demanding and it's probably more like that your eyesight would start to go. <laughs> yeah. Well, my father, he only retired two years ago. Is he back? Is he only me? Is he Mark gone? <laughs> My gone? Froze. You froze. Now you're okay. Ah. <laughs> no, it was it really it was quiet. That's what ah, that's right, what happened. Enough. Yeah. He went yeah, 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 thought, <laughs> oh fuck, <laughs> Mark's dying. I need, to, I need to wrap it up. I need to wrap it up. We're running right. over. Again. <laughs> We're running over. Typical. <laughs>
Boys, I mean, you were brilliant. The two of you boys were brilliant. That's the sort of chat you need. That's what you need. Uh, always, anytime, guys. It's always a pleasure to see you. It's always yeah. a pleasure to have a chat with you till we actually can meet. Happy happy Christmas on, to you all. And you, you guys. Know, really, really appreciate this. Happy on. Christmas there, Martin. Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. Happy happy problem. Christmas, Mark, uh, brilliant, guys. Superstar. Really, see you, Rudy. Really Merry Christmas. Take care. Hope you all see you, Rudy. have a brilliant day. Thank you. I know you guys have a nice one. Bye, Take bye, care. You too, Marnock. Thanks, sir. All right, all right. Elliot, what's crack bones? It's about three o'clock now. It's uh, all three, good. Three all good. Christmas dinner Christmas time. Day. What Santa bring you? Oh, a lot. Too all much. Right. Any good. You're too, you're, you're too a good. A talk of Praga away kit? <laughs> no, not, not one of them. <laughs> Hey boys, Man, what drink you got? I was drinking gin. It's all gone. <laughs> that's, that's Christmas for you, Benji. Uh, ben, Benjamin, what what time is it? And uh, where you are? It is eight thirty in the morning. Um, I've got a nice nice latte here. We make. We we love to make coffee for the city that loves to drink it. A nice Melbourne Melbourne latte. So Santa's been and gone for you, Benji. Yeah, or you're now you're now Boxing Day. Completed it, mate. Christmas completed it, mate. Did you get Did we, we, you get the Docker Park away kit? Did you present? No, that? no Docker Park away kit, unfortunately. Um, what did I get? Oh. Yeah, got a, we did the Chris Kringle and ended up with a like an action figure of a of a home hardware TV commercial guy, which was I was trying to swap it. It was one of those swapping gifts, and I was like, oh, anyone want this one? And alas, I couldn't palm it off, so it's with me still. You stuck with you stuck, you're stuck with the garbage? I'm stuck, stuck, stuck with garbage. With, it's called Talking Scotty. <laughs> is that an is that an Australian thing? Apparently, it's from uh, Mitre 10, which is like a, a home hardware chain, and someone thought it'd be hilarious to buy that for the Kris Kringle. Um, yeah. Yeah. Somebody somebody got that as a gift and then re-gifted it to you? Uh, we did, like, it's called, like, Bad Santa, so everyone, like, gave a gift, um, and then you, you, you take the gift, and um, you can, so you choose whether you want to steal someone else's gift that they've opened, or you pick one of the ones from the the sort of sensor section so um once you get it people can steal it off you so i was like oh does anyone want to steal this talking scotty but no no one no one wanted it <laughs> elliot what about you hard, hard things yeah. who's your dad yeah not, not bad not bad he's uh downstairs at the moment i think i thought he would uh, we would have got one of the extra extra guests hmm. i uh, no, I, was, I was trying to convince him earlier because we were playing Sabito and yeah, um, I think he said he would show his face, but Christmas Day is a good deal. Boys, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and add in, uh, add in one of our uh, club members here. Hold on, to see if I can get him. Uh, What's the score, Elliot? Yeah, okay. What was the score? What was the score in the Christmas oh, we, Day we game? We played with flats. We played with Ooh. the old flats. Uh, first game I won four one, and second one was four two. So. He's been scoring. Yeah. You know, there's life in, life in the old dog yet. I had to give him some goals, you know. <laughs> I did the same when I played him, Elliot. I did the same when yeah, I played him. Yeah, exactly. Boys and girls, meet Jude. <laughs> boys, boys, this here is Jude. He is the newest member of the Dairy City Table Football Club. Jude, well, they took up the game a year ago. Jude, this is so he's stuck with you guys then. Benji from Australia and Elliot from London. London. Benji, Elliot, nice to meet you, lads. How's it going? You're stuck, you're stuck playing with Martin Ogan. What's he then? Yeah, stuck is, is probably the best word to describe it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jude, Jude is our whipping boy. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're a whipping boy? Hi. See fucking words like that, I'll be joining Donegal to video. Be careful. He's going to be down there. Wait, go. As Bradley would say, where you go? Where you go? Where you go? He's going to be down to an odd number. I'll be down in Shed Big. 
very you guys far saw away. It. You're very I was far playing away. I was so playing close. up in Sydney a few weeks ago, scored this this goal, and then suddenly we're on Facebook and there's a full on war in That's the comment right. section. <laughs> it's going mental. Yeah. Brian is he's doing me well, dirty. Yeah? Did it did hey, you actually scored a goal, it. mate? I did. I managed to get there. Oh, wow. A... Oh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, sorry. I have to jump on here. I have to jump on here. Elliot. Elliot. Hey? He put the, yeah. he put the ball in, He put the ball in the net, but apparently it should have been a disallowed goal. Uh, what? You know, you learn from the best, mate, when you come to uh, come out to Scotland. He's been, he's, he's been going like that. This is baby scoring you goals. Did you lift your it's hand? Like that. I did what uh, most he did, people he, did, he, jumped, he jumped off the table. He jumped off the table. He was like four foot there. I, I heard you like try to assault the other person. Oh, that too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> struck the fear of God into them, and then. Uh, so it's always great when you suddenly got this this great comment war that gets going. But the uh, <laughs> the, the Belgians back me in, so. Big, big oh, love. If you're back, is it still been... still on Facebook now? It probably is still going. In fact, it probably is still going. The Belgians only back you, Benji, because it's political. Yeah, well, it doesn't matter. I'll take it, whatever it suits. Uh, the club support me. <laughs> the people support me. I am the people champion. <laughs> Benji, did you win the tournament? I actually did. That's why I was posting on Facebook because I don't normally win very often. So when I did, I had to really make the most of it. I <laughs> sexy, bra- I sexy, Brian. Sorry, sorry, over here yes. Dude. Yes. Have you ever won a tournament? I have won probably three matches, and that's it. Um, and you're, I, and you're I'm happy to be the fall guy. I'm happy to make up the numbers. Um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm just happy to be part of something. That's all. I'm just hanging Lovely. on. Hey, Jude that's, Vane, you, Jude that's Vane, what it's all Jude only, Jude only picked up a game not even a year ago. Not even a year ago. He's not doing too bad. Hey, you, you, I think you, get, you got a draw with me, I think. And I, I did. I, I think I used to be like famous for whopping you four or five and then... <laughs> Oh, I did get a I did get a draw with the All Ireland champion once of two all of Mark Farrell. That's Mark probably the best result I ever had. That's true. That's true. We, scored two goals just, against Mark Farrell. We've just had Mark Farrell on the show as well before you, so that's a claim to fame. It is a claim to fame, yeah. Um, like, don't get me wrong, he took it very, very easily on me, and uh, I, I don't, I don't think there was any kind of good skill on my part. I think it was he allowed that to happen, but it's on the scoreboard. I got the wasp of points for it, so I'll keep them. Don't play it. Down. Have you, play, have Don't you play played Farrell, Elliot? Yeah, plenty of times. A lot of times when I was on younger with, as well. How, how you know what games? I think. I think last time I beat him, time before that he beat me, so we normally have quite close games. Very good. Very good. Have you yep. had to be, I've scored. I've scored one goal against Farrell. And about five games. I don't think I've ever scored against them. We always so, have high goal scoring games. You'd never play down your result. You should play no. that. You should be begging that shit up. You should be putting that in your Facebook bio. Beat Drew with Mark Farrell. <laughs> uh, Drew with Mark Farrell in a game of Sabudio. <laughs> Jude, you were meant to come on tonight with uh, Oshin, but Oshin couldn't come on. But we're talking about the wooden spoon in the front of football. Can't wait. Um, I this mean, is, uh, uh, as far as the wooden spoon, that that would be the pinnacle of my life. If I were to win this wooden spoon, I I, I would be delighted to win it. At least you've won something. Exactly. I that's know. your win. That's yeah. not a that's not a claim to fame. Taking yeah. taking a thirty point hit in your fantasy football team is yeah. not a claim to fame. Although, if you do win this wooden spoon, it wasn't the small print of the initial. Fantasy Football League. That if you win the, the wooden spoon, you do have to mm-hmm. take it, stick it up your arse because <laughs> you, you've been the, you've been the worst. You've no. been the worst at fantasy football. Jesus, are you going to buy me a drink first at least? I, I don't. I, it's not my competition. No. I don't make the rules. No, that that goes up your arse sideways with no lube. Oh, okay. 
look, I'm, I'm, I took up some video, so I have a track record of trying new things. <laughs> <laughs> I think that can maybe be a, a slogan to try and get people into Sabuti to try anything once. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 This is the this oh. is the first time we've had the pleasure of Jude's company on the show. Elliot and Ben. I don't I, I only took this here. long. It only took this long. It only took this long to get me on the show, right? Uh I've been on Good Morning America, CBS News. Uh, featured in the New York Times, but no, the use fuckers don't let me on your show. Uh, we, 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 you see, we have standards. This is the yeah. thing. And we standards don't. have to be upheld. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, I, I suppose I, I suppose if that's the case, I'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll accept my invitation to go on the other show then that has di- that has good production value and microphones to clip under your shirt. Yes. Who's is that? Is that the? Uh, is that the? Uh, Table Football Weekly. Timmy Westwood's <laughs> fucking Timmy Westwood's Pinton Show. Every week. It started out so covert, and every week when I watch the show, it just gets more and more name dropping, name mentioning of this <laughs> nondescript other show. <laughs> to be honest, you said you were going to win fantasy football, and you're yeah. last. Yeah, I know. I'm going to win the wooden spoon. No. So I'm going to win something. If I, no. Right, right. You're, you're languishing yourself. <laughs> and you're not going to win, and you're not going to get the wooden spoon. So I will have I will have left with more woodware or silverware or whatever than you have. I'm so, running, uh, I'm running the biggest show in the country as well as the Sabudio League. Ben you can't say you, you can't you know, say the biggest show in the country. You can't say the biggest show in the country. Nolan already has that. You're going to have to get something else. This is this is the biggest Sabudio show in the country. Oh right, right. right. The biggest... only other Sabudio show right now. There isn't any. <laughs> Come on, Elliot. I don't see El- I don't see Elliot Dieu de Belfontaine, Sabudio Supremo, Grace and any other Sabudio shows. I don't no, see no, Aus- well, Australia's on. Australia's number one Sabudio ambassador, Grace and any other Sabudio shows. I don't even see hmm. Dieu de Dieu tomorrow, Grace and any other Sabudio show. No, I, no. Th- I think this maybe not technically, but no. should be the hmm. number one show. Thank you, Elliot. I don't know uh, anything mm. about sh- uh, should be. It is. It is. Yes. <laughs> but but do you know what's, what's what great to see? Elliot, you're in the wood You're in the high bag. What what do you want? Brian coming on. What's he a, saying? There's a se- there's a sexy daily trading wall on its way to you. You don't need it. You don't need a sexy <laughs> daily trading wall. I don't need it. I don't need training walls. Benji. You, you, don't want, for you, you don't want a sexy daily training wall, Benji. He's persona <laughs> non grata. Is, is he is he coming to join us or is he AFK at the moment? <laughs> Do you want the man? Do you want the man? Can't Do you get him. Wanna... Can't get him. Bring on daily. Get daily in. Lawrence, Benji, what, what, Benji wants to give him shit on air. <laughs> Well, what's fun? Th- <laughs> yes. What's really good that I've noticed is that I would I would imagine that Elliot and Benji are around my age. I thought that Sabudio, the average age of Sabudio players, was maybe late forties. So it's it's good it's good to see there's other younger oh, players. Oh, we game. are by and large the massive exception to the rule, Jude. We are, oh, we yeah. are <laughs> in the very very small minority. <laughs> yeah, because because <laughs> because uh, of course the Derry Study Table Football Club is full of arthritic flicking fingers. <laughs> Should just make it easier. Well, but, it should, well, it should I, make I, it I easier, right? It should. It should. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to make it any easier. No. It <laughs> no. No. Daily's not coming on. He texts us. Hey, not coming on. Too late. You, there you go. You've won then. You've won. So baby. I feel You've the won. only natural response to that is that yeah. he can't take the heat. Um. Can't take the heat. Yeah, that's what it is, mate. Yeah. So he's gonna be right. Sexy brand's been burnt. Sexy brand's been burnt. Oh, Benji, be... Benji from from the Sunshine Coast has just wiped them out. Uh, no, fair play. I mean, Brian did me a bit dirty on the comments, but no, fair fair play. Lots of lots of love and respect to Brian. Drove me around many parts of the UK and played quite a bit with him when I was was living over there. So big shout out to Brian. It was I really enjoyed his episode on the show as well. 
That was really funny. <laughs> I was if, it's any, if it's any comfort, Benji, it was a goal. Good goal. Good goal. I haven't seen it, Benji. It, it but, but I would give uh, it. I would now that I've got Elliot on, I'm, I'm going to tell a story here because I was just thinking about these games I played. I played Elliot in a game in Glasgow, and he absolutely pumped me. Don't get me wrong, but <laughs> well, that's not um, time. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but the best memory I have is that I was uh, probably a few goals down, and I'd set up this perfect chance to score, and it was like all happening. I was going to score. The ball was, was on its way through, and Elliot just goes. No, nah. I think he throws under his hand and hits the ball away. Or just flicks the play. <laughs> 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 you dirty dog, Elliot. And it's in one of those spots where you can't really score from the free kick either because it's I much harder. I a few pints in then. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, no, nah, not happening. <laughs> not happening. <laughs> Elliot! Elliot, we asked you a couple of weeks ago, have you ever cheated to video? You said yes. no. Uh, 100%, Elliot. Watch yep. it back. I yep. said yes. <laughs> You cheating little fucker. Uh, it was a friendly. I was probably like 10 to 11 beers in. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I like your, I like your style, Elliot. I'm 100% yeah. Benji. I didn't nah, know. You're not, you're not having that. Fuck off. Benji, why didn't you tell me that sooner? I didn't know I was a cheat. I do that every time with Bradley. Free kick. <laughs> Uh, it's the classic uh, oh, someone oh, playing it on the oh, run so you give oh, away so the free kick. A free kick for this is a oh, loving example of birds of a feather flock together uh, fucking cheaters you need to go you need to go <laughs> one goal up one goal up you score one goal and then you just put your hand in front of your net and then let, let them have all the all the penalties and the free kicks they want uh, nah nah well, you, you just start playing Dude. really slowly Dude. second half <laughs> What, Lawrence? You'll be world number one oh. next year. See, every time Bradley comes down the wing, the way he attacks down the wing, that's the way yeah. he attacks. Every time he gets this before the shooting area, just flick the ball away. Yeah. It. Yeah. No, that, that, that's what I'm, that's what I'm going to do. Like, my, my, my tactic's going to stay the same, and it's score early and park the bus. Like the, the, the Mourinho of Sabudio. And, um, yeah, that, that, that sounds like a great plan. Actually, I'm going to do that. I actually have some people in mind that I'm going to do that too. Um... So, yeah, say no more. Say no more, right? Yeah. <laughs> right, boys, I'm going to wrap this up because it's getting, it's Christmas Day and we're all have to spend time with our family, so. Oh, ab- absolutely, yeah. Christmas Day is really, great. Really, really appreciate you all coming on. It's been fantastic. Thank you. Well, I'm up to work, so. <laughs> Elliot never stops. <laughs> Elliot, the hero of the people. It's an important, yeah, important, important, important job to do. It's on the beat. Mm. Tw- 12-hour night shift. 12-hour <laughs> night shift. Tri- triple time, Elliot. Double pay. Double pay. <laughs> thanks very much, Lawrence. So I, I, I must go on this wonderful Christmas day and now carve my goose. So thanks very much for having me. That's been great. Lovely to meet you two guys, too. We'll catch up. You too, that was awesome. Cheers, dude. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank you, Jude. Hopefully. All right, lads. When we, when we bring Christmas. out the tw- 2022 Irish Open festive satellite, I'm hoping yeah. to see you two boys over. Then you can meet you. You can have a wee game. Yeah, so and I will see. Got beer, I'll be there. And as soon as I'm about to score against Jude, what are you going to do, mate? Hand in front of the net. <laughs> No, no, Benji, I'll come over and smash the ball away. <laughs> Any game, even if you get into a final. Nope. <laughs> I'll refer <laughs> Nope. Nah, fuck you. <laughs> it's not happening. <laughs> Benji, thanks for sharing us that fucking one. That's a Christmas gift there. That is a Christmas gift. Everyone out of beer, boys. I'm going to have to go on the... I'll, I'll show these boys now before they go. Did you brew your own wine? Now we've run out of beer. Indeed, 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 Jude. Now we're going to have to go on the home brew. Oh, hey, Jesus. Table football club wine. Is that the first ever Sabudia Club brewed wine? Is that, I, that that's I've ever seen first, that? Yeah. Indeed, Benji. It's the first ever Sabudia Club brewed wine. We're going to... Uh, there'll be more... So everybody that comes for the 2022 Irish Open, 
We'll be gifted. We'll be gifted a a Dairy City wine. Don't you don't come to the open. <laughs> <laughs> come enjoy the wine. You might not go home, but you'll have enjoyed the wine. Be some or you might not go home the same. Slant you, boys. You'll never go Slant home you, the same. Slant you indeed, boys. Thank you very much for coming on. Cheers, we'll see you later. Elliot, Jude, we'll see you sooner than these two boys. But we'll see you two boys. Soon. Cheers later. Right. It's been on the show, so we've we've brought Simon back for some special surprise that Bradley has. <laughs> all right, all right. Well now you you start this is all about you, what's it? This is all about Lawrence here. All about Lawrence. Not all about me. Well, it it's be. all about Lawrence, has to be. Lawrence has started this YouTube channel. It all began way back, way back in the in the AIDS of March when lockdown swept the globe. Not even this this tiny shithole at the arse end of Europe swept the globe. And what happened was Watsy thought, you know what? I'm a nice guy. Boys are fed up. Boys are bored. Boys love Subudio. There's no Subudio they play. You know what I mean? So what what's he started this channel? He started all this here as a as a benevolent gesture to the Subudio community at large as a whole. He wanted to show people that we can't play, but you can paint, you can make teams, you can get yourself ready. This will be over. This will end. You know what I mean? This isn't gonna this isn't us forever. It's a new normal for now, but in the future this will all change. But in the meantime, when you can play, prepare, get yourselves ready. So Watson, here he started teaching people how to paint their own superhero players, Sparrow. and that's how that exactly, sir. Yeah. And that's how this all. So that's how this. That's why we're sitting here now, in the depths of winter and Christmas Day, talking about superhero with players and people from all over the globe, all over the globe, from Australia to Germany to Italy to. The Republic of Ireland, the us ourselves, the the Newquay, Newcastle boys, and it, you know, and it's meant a lot to people, and it's touched the hearts of many as a Sabirio player and a Sabirio personality throughout the globe. And really I, hope, has. I hope so much that people are watching this instead of watching the Queen. We've really done the Queen's speech. The Queen's speech has been done. The Queen's old hat. She's had her. She's had her run. Quite a good run. No, it's all Watsy. No, it's all Watsy. So anyway, people have been in touch with me. And they yes. says, we love Watsy. We love Watsy's show. We love what Watsy is about. We love what he's doing. And we wanted to spread just a little bit of additional Christmas cheer to Watsy. And they all has friends and followers. So we've had with us special Christmas welcome and wish for you, for all your viewers, from the one and only premier Subirio producer, Mr. Gareth Christie, Mr. Flicks for Kicks himself. Yes. And he's, wish, he's wishing you a very Merry Christmas. And here he is. Brilliant to meet you, artist, fantastic YouTube host, and all around great guy. What's he? He and my dad at Flick for Kicks wish you a very Merry Christmas. Cheers. Merry Christmas, Gareth. Merry Christmas. Thank you very Merry much. Christmas, Merry Gareth. Christmas. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. Kane, kind words, much appreciated. You're a star. And Gareth, Gareth brilliant. And Flicks for Kicks is if you want a table, you go to Flicks for Kicks. If you want, if you're, if you won a lotto and you want a swank of ranks of video table, who do you go to? Gareth Christie. If you want a bit of crack on Christmas Day on a five-a-side table, who do you go to? Gareth Christie. And Gareth yeah. was lovely. Gareth was lovely doing that. But you know what? And Gareth, he, he's a big name in the Subaru computer. He's a former Scottish champion. Do you know oh, what I mean? Play, I've played him twice. You played him twice, and he's a lovely guy. Lovely, lovely guy. He is. Really he is. Yes, future you know. guest, by the way. Yes, future guest. But you know what? Gareth wasn't the only one that was impressed. By what you were doing, Watsy. He's not the only one. It's you like I mean? it's like this is your life. <laughs> hey, uh, this is your life. Where's the red book? Gareth's not Here. the only one who thought. I have to 
your thought, have your this is good. Yeah, it's not the only one who thought what's he deserves a shout out. What's he deserves you know, busy busy no, people, busy busy crap. people picking themselves out their time. Don't, they wish a Merry Christmas. Don't make me cry. But what you know, Gareth wasn't the only one. There's many a moon, many a being. I did I didn't hear push them off coming in. <laughs> You've got any more videos then? Well, I got another Christmas message for you, Watsy. Another Christmas message. Okay. And this man, this this man's well renowned throughout the Saburio community. His name is everywhere. Everybody's had a flick of his basis. This man, this man was world number one. World number one. Best of world number one. This here is a special Christmas message to you. To all your friends and followers, this is Mr. Daniel Sheen. This is the Mr. Cha for wishing you and everybody a Merry Merry Christmas. Come on on, Daniel. I wish everybody a flicking Christmas, a flicking New Year, and I hope to see you next year in 2021, and I really hope that it will be better than 2020. Stay strong. Bye-bye. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you. An absolute... It's, that, that's an... The so Look, real there's, there, there's loads of YouTube channels now because boys that can't play, you know what I mean? And boys just rediscover, boys are fed up, they're in lockdown and they're rediscovering their youth and they're coming back and you've all this Subidio revival shit, you've all this fucking nostalgia. But you have <laughs> the boys, you have the boys, you have the players, you have the real boys that never stop, that keep it going. The only reason it's here is because of boys like me, you, Simon, Elliot, Benji, you know what I mean? All them, Daniel. Boys, even Jude, Daniel, Shane, Gareth, your Tom Burns, you know what I mean? Barry, Craig, all them boys that are playing the game. You know what I mean? They've never stopped playing the game. But there's one man, one man, who's made table football what it is today. No more. There's I, can't, one I man, can't take no more. There's one man. I can't take has, no more. There's one man who has a, uh, who has created, created the whole world in which we are living in at this moment in time. <laughs> and that man, that man <laughs> sat back and he looked, that man sat back and he looked and he thought, there's a guy who's doing it for the people. There's a guy, that Watsy boy, he's doing it for the wee man. He's doing it for the every man. He is the man that is spreading the global world. And there's only one man that can say things like that when it means something to you. Jesus Christ. There's a man that's been blessed above. Jesus Christ wouldn't have a luck on when it comes to, when it comes to the one and only Vincent Copano. No way. Vincent Copano. No way. Way. Vincent. Hi there, it's Vincent from Belgium. Hope all is well for all the flickers around the world, and especially to my friends in Northern Ireland. Hope the Derry City Table Football Club players are going well, and all the British players have uh, brilliant holidays. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care and keep on flicking. Stay safe. <laughs> oh, that's what you're trying to make me cry. That's what you get. That's what you mean. That's what you're meaning now to the Sabidio community, Lawrence. That's what you've done here. This is where you are. Everybody globally is looking here and saying, Thank this you. is what we need. At this time, of, throughout, as we've already had from the Queen, throughout this, and this horribleness, I take my it, hat. It takes, somebody, it takes somebody like you to put this out there. They bring us all together. They have give us something to look at. They give us something they strive towards and they look forward to. And when this is over and the winds have swept through and the dust bowl's been wrecked clear and then it's all settled down and we're back on the table, you kept us going. Thank you. I, 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 I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. Honestly, honestly, Look, same as we, we, we clap. They're big same Simon, Simon I'm clap, glad you're clap, here for this. Simon, because you we are. Clap everybody comes on this show. We clap all our guests. We clap all our contributors. We clap all our sponsors. I think Mr. Watson deserves one big clap. <laughs>
Thank you, lad. And I, it would, I don't think it would be as merry a Christmas as it is if it wasn't for you. And if it wasn't Thank for us here coming together on this Christmas day. <laughs> Honestly, lads, I, I, Martin, thank you. Thank you for sorting all that. I, I don't know what to say. I'm fucking, I'm, I'm starstruck. I'm, I, That's I'm, not me. That's not me. Well, That's not me. That's first of all, first of all, thank you, Simon, for coming tonight. And um, thank you, Martin, for putting up with me for 14 weeks, 13 weeks. I can't even remember. 14 weeks, it might be. Too uh, long. Too long. <laughs> too long. <laughs> it hasn't been easy. It's been a nightmare, hasn't it? Every, nightmare. Every, every, Absolute nightmare. Uh, but to have the likes of Daniel, Shane, um, Gareth Christie, I'm, I'm sorry, not Gareth Christie, sent messages, and then Vincent, like Vincent is, thank you, I, I'm, I'm amazed. Saint Vincent. I'm amazed. Pat, Pat, patron Saint of all video players. <laughs> Obviously, we started this in lockdown, and I thought it'd be a bit of crack, and then somebody suggested we do a fantasy football show, and it's just taken off. We don't have hundreds of viewers but we have great viewers we have it's real the that's the thing it's that's that's what's different about this one is it's real you know it's, it's real yeah you boys talking and it's talking to players as well and i guess the other programs don't really have that they're not always they're not talking about the players and the tournaments and the competitions and showing highlights and, and that's they're, what makes this one good oh your stuff <laughs> it's a game for playing and it's a player's game and i i Thank you, thank you everybody for your wee messages and then I obviously wish us all a Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and thank you Martin, Simon and everybody that's been on the show. Everybody that's been on the show tonight has been fantastic. It's been it's been mental but it's been fantastic. And brilliant, yeah, brilliant. It's been a pleasure to get everybody round the table on this, this Christmas day. This midwinter's festival and celebration <laughs> of all things Subudio and Subudio related. You should, you should organize a Watsi Subudio competition for all your guests to come and play. One big Hi. tournament. That's what you call the Irish Open. <laughs> Lockdown hey. finishes, you've got to get that organized. Watsi can sponsor it and give all the prizes because he's always giving he away he's a, his prizes. He can. He's a wealthy YouTuber now, nowadays. Lads, I, I don't know what else I can say. Thank you. It's been fucking fantastic. Hope you have a great Christmas and enjoy, enjoy your, day. your time off. You still drinking the vodka? Yeah, I have both. Yeah. Woo! Now that's Christmas. I'm, I'm, hammered. Christmas. I'm hammered here and then I'm full of emotion and... Bradley, you're a cunt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for shorting all that. You'll not see them boys on table football, won't we? <laughs> Bradley, my rack, you, me and you, <laughs> head to head. I think it's tight. I think well, it's tight. I'll, I'll tell you how many. We've played 20 games. Don't Have speak. we? We've keep, played that, keep that for the, the actual recording, really. Well, if you're not recording yet. I am recording, but I'm, only, I'm going to introduce it. No, don't oh. introduce it. Just stick it in. Because we've just talked a lot of shit. So. Stick it in credits. 20. More consistently good player. But I don't know. In those, in those three and, and all five of the groups. Sorry, we're, we're, we're overtaking your show. You've had all these accolades and now all of a sudden the head's like. Uh, no, four, I need four to times of that. Nobody looking at me for work at so strong. <laughs> All right. Then. I need, I, there's somebody looking at me to see about work tomorrow. So. Okay. Right. You you caught her as you see that. But well, the three of us we need to be doing this again. Yes. Big big goodbye. All right. Big goodbye. Once a month at least we need to be doing this. All right. We chat. Yes. Half we an chat. hour. Even. Yes. Right. I agree. Hey man. You know Great. we love you. Hey lads. Thank you very much. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hey, Martin, Merry Christmas. Have a 
we'll be back before the new year anyway. So I'll see you all soon. Martin. See you soon. Okay, Cheers. Okay. Thanks, lads. Enjoy Thanks. the rest of your Christmas day. Crack my crackers. Enjoy Keep the rest of you. Drink a drink. Kiss yeah. your loved ones. Stay away from the whiskey. Stay away from the whiskey. Drink a vodka. Drink a right. vodka.